Hey, what's happening? Just hey, um, I've been looking for Katie and I can't find her. Do you know where she is? Yeah, she's actually just down the hallway. Oh, first door or second door? Second door. Okay, cool. Thanks. You're welcome. See ya. Yeah. Hi guys, this is Katie. Hey guys. Katie, can you tell us what you do here at Ozobot? Absolutely. I am the lead product designer here at Ozobot. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, the play fields, the marble skins, I wow. had a hand in all of it. Um, so tell me what you love most about Ozobot. My favorite thing as a creative um, in Ozobot is the fact that the creative and artistic side can match really well with the technical side. Um, someone like me who likes to draw and likes to create, mm -hmm. um, sometimes the programming and the coding can be a little intimidating For sure. um, because I'm not a programmer and you know, but with Ozobot and um, how you can basically you use your artistic skill to create and to code. Um, so the line following and the, the color coding is all, it's just drawing. So it makes it very relatable to me as a creative and it helps me to basically create my own world, create my own story. Everything about Ozobot is about creating. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And you should definitely ask Maddie about, because she knows a lot more of the programming and coding side, so she'll be able to talk to that a little bit better than I will. So guys, do you think we should go and find Maddie to find out a little bit more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely Katie. hit her up. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, this is Maddie. Hi. Maddie, can you tell us what brought you here to Ozobot? Sure, it's kind of a funny story. So a couple months ago, I saw this article on Wired.com talking about a robot that teaches girls how to program. Mm -hmm. I'm very passionate about getting women into computer science, so I sent an email to Ozobot seeing if they had anything that fit my, my uh, description, and the rest is history. Wow, that's such a cool story. Like, it's so inspiring to girls out there who like to code just like you. So now that you're here, what do you do? What I do is I try and create fun, challenging ways to teach kids how to program. Mm -hmm. So I do the lessons and the activities, essentially. So how could I learn what you do? So it's funny, when you're learning computer science, you want to start really simple. And with Ozobot, you can. So mm -hmm. we have the color coding language. So basically, that helps teach kids sequencing and how to do follow instructions you know, with the Ozobot. And then you go and you move into blocky programming, which starts very simple with movement. And then we build up and you can use sensors, lights, sounds, all these different capabilities that can teach the fundamentals of programming. And um, they translate to any actual text programming language. Wow, that's so cool. So I could just learn it whenever I wanted to and so could any of our viewers. Definitely. Maddie, thanks so much for sitting down and talking to me. I know you're such an inspiration for girls out there and I know they're happy to have you here, so girl power. Guys, go to ozobot.com to learn more and also tune into next episode of Behind the Scenes. Oh, before you leave, let me show you some Lockley. Oh yeah, for sure guys, we have to see this.